Good morning from the Ashram for Unfoldment. As every day we come with a message for the day, I am Raman Leonato speaking from New York. Today, January 18th, the title is The Finite Mind Cannot Comprehend the Infinite. Um, well, that's um, kind of clear. You cannot put the ocean in a glass of water. And uh, infinite is something that mathematicians have even uh, drove crazy themselves trying to think about infinite. Uh, so this uh, humility, you know, that may arise by you looking at the firmament, at the stars, at the galaxies, at manifestation in its vastness, uh, in its dimension, which is, you know, it, it, it doesn't even fit in your mind, even though if it is fine and the numbers are so big that you cannot even fathom it in your mind. So there is the unfathomable. The unfathomable is part of our existence, is part of our experience. And preparing for a new beginning, we end up with the individualized mind built by the experiences we go through. We are in winter, <coughs> we are preparing ourselves for a new beginning, which is, will be next spring. This is just a preparation, we are doing a practice every day. And uh, we've been dealing with the individualized mind and what is it that this seed that we have in the individualized mind, uh, uh, what is the seed that we are going to plant uh, to become love? We want to plant the seeds of love. It is a fact that peace, understanding and realization can only come from within you. No external power or force can create them for you. The creation of that peace, self-realization and understanding arises from within you and the reason is this, it is inherent in you. It is your birthright and it is there. Every human being is born with that divinity within. As we've been going through there is this consciousness that was there at the beginning because it had to be there in seed form somehow and is there today unfolded as a human being through a process of evolution. And uh, that, that energy, that energy that shot forth is within you and within everything else because it is that very same energy or God or consciousness or call it whatever that shot forth and expressed itself in this vastness which is finite but expressing the infiniteness of that force of that force that shot forth If I tell you who you are, you will only appreciate it on the level of the mind. Exactly. So, you know, we could kind of try to say that or that you are a um, concretization of consciousness. Doesn't matter. That's mind level. Any appreciation on the intellectual level is necessarily limited because the finite mind cannot comprehend the infinite. But when realization dawns in you and you can answer to yourself, by yourself and for yourself, the question, who am I and why I am here, then you're realized. Then you operate in the field of knowledge, in the field of wisdom, in the field of sanctity. Because sanctity and wisdom is the same. Wisdom comes with sanctity and sanctity comes with wisdom because both shot forth 
love or consciousness. Now our individualized mind is connected to the whole universe. There are many wires running from, running from our mind to all aspects and facets of life. When a belief is strong enough, we activate a force that will bring us the required idea, which is compatible with our mind. After that, with some hard work and a proper approach, that belief becomes a reality. What this means is that our minds uh, are individualized only kind of in the surface or at the end because they are just part of one universal mind which is what is evolving. Uh, <clears throat> but from the point of view or the perspective of the individualized mind, the ego, which is not the little I, but the the totality of the individualized mind, which is the ego, or you could equate it to the human soul, can make any belief a reality. Now, the question is, what do you want to believe? What do you want to make a reality? Uh, because um, whatever you give importance, that governs you. So. What are you going to give importance to? What do you want to be governed by? What do you want to bring to manifestation? What is it that that divinity within you wants to manifest? So, the practice for today, only for today, will be a kind of inquiry practice. What is it within me that wants to express with wisdom, with sanctity, what is it? So just reflect for today, reflect and ask yourself, ask your deep self, what is it that that force within you is wanting to express, wanting to connect to, wanting to manifest from the point of view of the individualized mind, of the individualized experience. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, remember, it's only one day. It's just today that you need to make this reflection. Tomorrow will be another day. Tomorrow will be another practice. And remember, you have to complement these practices with a meditation in the morning and a meditation in the afternoon. Um, and if you have a proper protocol of meditations, as the one that we teach in our platform, meditationtechniques.org, um, together with these practices, uh, in one year time, one day after another, by the time you arrive to the 18th of January, if you start today, in a year time, you will reach to these words again and you will realize how big the path you've walked and how much you are now here with me. So thank you very much. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.